Minnesota Governor Mark Dayton has prostate cancer. That announcement came less than 24 hours after Dayton collapsed during his State of the State address on Monday night. Eric Nelson joins us now with more. Eric? Yeah, Alex and Mike, just two days before his 70th birthday, Governor Mark Dayton caught many off guard by announcing he has prostate cancer. The governor has overcome medical issues in the past, including hip and spinal surgeries, but now he has to deal with this challenge. Dayton's term as governor runs through 2019, and he believes this won't impact his ability to run the state of Minnesota. Doctors agree, as long as the prostate cancer is not in an advanced form. If prostate cancer is a stable situation and you're at a point where you're not having any side effects from any procedure or radiation or chemotherapy regimens, uh, a far majority of individuals are able to do normal uh, job functions, work functions, activity of daily living type functions. Now it appeared to be business as usual for Governor Dayton Monday night at the Capitol in St. Paul as he prepared for his state of the state. But Dayton stumbled approaching the podium which was a precursor to what would eventually happen. 40 minutes into his speech, Dayton suddenly collapsed. There are five levels of prostate cancer, and we don't know what level Dayton has. In advanced stages, the cancer can be treated with surgery, radiation, or a chemo-like regimen. Prostate cancer is the second most common cancer for males um, overall. And um, over the age of uh, 65, um, it is uh, a fairly common cancer. Lifetime risk for guys um, overall is about one out of nine chance of developing prostate cancer over a lifetime. Now, Dr. Brian Nelson of the HCMC Clinic in Golden Valley says that it is rare to have fainting episodes related to prostate cancer, but recent treatments could cause side effects such as fainting.